How's everyone doing? It's Mask here, and today I want to show you Black Desert Mobile. It's global launching on December 11th, and honestly, this is an absolutely incredible mobile MMORPG that's really went leaps in, and really taken leaps and bounds to close the gaps between an actual solid full-fledged MMO on a computer and what we've been able to enjoy as an MMORPG on PC. Now, I just want to cut in really quick and say this is quite a long video, but I'm going to show off every single aspect of this game that you should take into consideration when you're tr deciding whether or not you want to play it. From PvP to 3v3 arena to world boss, guild, guild bosses, guild versus guild content, the camp where you build an empire that works for you and passively generates you income. There is so much, the graphics are phenomenal, and I hope you take the time to check it out to the end. Also, come check me out. I'm, I live stream at twitch.tv slash I'm going to be live streaming the entire day that the game is launching. It's going to be quite a marathon stream, and I'm available to answer, answer absolutely any questions you have. This game has one of the most complex character creation systems I have ever seen in an MMO. Honestly, Let's let's start with the uh, the warrior here and just take a look at what we can do from a character customization standpoint. The the presets there's an insane di diversity in the presets already, as you can see, varying across here. But if we jump into this guy right here, appearance, I can load up the complex ad advanced system. Here's basic. Coming over to advanced, I can move every single individual part of this face and completely customize everything you could possibly want to customize on this character. You can change the hair to a handful of different styles, and if you're not happy with the style, change the length, shorten it, long, curl the hair, boom, so it can look really crazy if you overdo it. Curl pattern, curl frequency, shine, there's, oh, add some shine to the hair, oh, I, I, I'd like to see a little bit of definition to the top. It is, oh, this guy, my, my dude, my dude, he's, he's got big shoulders, for sure. But but the legs, you know, he skips leg day. I don't know what to tell you. It, it's it's a problem. Don't like the hair. I not am not personally someone who can truly take advantage of this kind of a character customization screen. I'm more of a, eh, yeah, I like this preset. Okay, done, move on. But if you have the time to dedicate to it, and if you're someone who actually really, really likes to spend some time on your character customization screen, have fun. I've heard people who have spent an entire day sitting here trying to get their character to look exactly how they want them to do. But it's really cool. It's it's one of the most complex character creation screens I've ever come across so far. Now, to go along with some of the best character creation I've ever seen in a game, what would it be without some of the most breathtaking views and just graphics in general this is not a mobile game and i'm gonna hide myself here to really show off the graphics in game here it's it's unfortunate that it just got dark on me but it has actual night rotating days this is the seaside village of velia that you load into to start the game off <clears throat> the game the game is has 60 fps enabled on high-end devices and and it's just incredible there's there's the the views the adventures you go through Mountain sides. I'll probably sneak a couple really great views in here But let's start talking about kind of content you have available because that's really where these mobile games have been lacking So we have you obviously have a, you have your guilt like like any other any other game You can have 46 members in your guild. Well in my guild currently I have 46 members There's tons of guild content to do so this is our guild fortress once again great views the graphics are phenomenal <clears throat> we have Guild rushes, which allows allow us to fight guild bosses as an entire guild. So the forty, all forty six of us can load in and fight the same boss together. There are there is node war content and and castle siege content, which is guild versus guild content. So at the moment we can fight over nodes, and up to three different guilds can bid on the same node. And we load into a fifty. No, I say fifty. But that's we, we load into a guild versus guild versus guild three-way free-for-all and fight on the same battlefield. And, and it's incredible. It's, probably, it's the most fun I've had in a game in so long. I'll, I'll, there, I'm definitely going to have a video that, that fully shows off one of our Node Wars coming up on my channel really soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button 
and don't miss out when that comes out. Uh, don't miss that coming out, because honestly, Node Wars is incredible. You have to check that out, for sure. Other guild content, Castle Siege is going to be coming out. There's going to be Guild Wars. We're not entirely sure how a guild war goes down, but I do believe it's going to be opening up open world PvP between guilds. But we will we will see. As far as rate or other content goes, we have a arena you can load in and work your way through the rankings, fighting other other people in one versus one arena combat. <clears throat> so we're loading into this one nice and quick. That's great. <clears throat> So you load into a nice 1v1 arena. And uh, and, that, that's, and that's PvP. The, the arena can be a little lopsided full, uh, if your CP is not very close. I would say that is definitely the biggest flaw of the arena right now. That, that was an extremely one-sided battle because I was about 500 CP higher than my opponent there. And that's the arena has I will admit the 1v1 arena has been one of my less enjoyable parts of the game so far But there's a friendly arena and and you can have a lot of fun in there load in with a friend Work on making your CP be a little closer so you can really have a fun challenging battle now The other other PvP available is the Ramonis 3v3 Ramones uh, Ramonis. Yeah, 3v3 arena. Oh, there's another arena available. It's the Ramonis 3v3 arena where you, you can queue in with two of your friends. I've just invited Voltex and Verse here, and we are going to queue in this arena and uh, match up against another three-person team. And it gets really, really fun, because it's not just a three-on-three. -three. There there'll be tons of nodes and objectives spread across the map, and you it, it's the highest score wins, not just the team with the most kills. And here we go, loading in to the 3v3 content right away, able to run up, Statue of Battle, is your is your first main target? Oh guts! What's up, man? Chungus! Oh no! So, well, one thing I like to do right off the bat is start running around. This grass actually makes you invisible. Your opponents can't see you. This is it's just really really cool involved three v three combat. It's so much more to it than just sitting in an arena and trying to kill your opponent. Number one, you're working together. <clears throat> guts is down. Awesome actually run around and find objectives artifact of ice we killed that all of our opponents got frozen as you can see this giant here was just frozen here we go artifact of ice if I kill this here <clears throat> all of our opponents just got frozen I can come up get some damage in he can't do anything down awesome artifact of ice again I found another one boom everyone's frozen artifact of healing fantastic Lagos the destroyer of battlefield so a boss a 3v3 boss spawns in the middle and you have to kill him. And the team that kills him gets a lot of points, so it really helps you towards... And here we go. Artifact of healing. I could chill right here in this grass and wait for an opponent to, to come up and try to kill it. And before they can, pop, surprise them. If you're a character that has really high CC, like uh, Chungus right now, and my opponent's team is a giant, he could CC chain you for like 20 seconds straight, I swear. They're nuts. Here, I'm on the ground here. Boom. I'm, I'm, I hardly was able to get up before he basically had me dead. <clears throat> and that's it. 3v3. So the game is won with so much more than just killing your opponent. There was objectives. There was a boss in the middle. The boss is last hit wins. So if my opponents were able to kill that boss, this, this game would have been neck and neck. Really, really fun. Now, world boss. Of course, what's an MMO without a world boss? Kazarka is our world boss. It spawns once a day at the same time, so you always know how to pre uh, prepare for it. And here he is. There, there are more world bosses that will be released, but for now, uh, as opposed to what world bosses are more, are more popularly like, this is kind of more like a raid. Because world bosses, traditionally, you should be loading in, you should, uh, they, you should be kind of in like an open world and have lots and lots of, like everyone's just sort of fighting each other, f fighting the boss, you can kill each So our main world boss, Kazarka, really doesn't quite feel like a world boss and feels more like an instance raid dungeon. But this doesn't matter too much because we actually have a very, very, tr they've introduced a second world boss in the game that's so absolutely true like a world boss and it's Hex Marie. You fight her in nightmare mode, which is another really cool part about the game that we will get to very shortly. Four health bars left. 
three. And this one's more more of just a face roll at this point. And here we go, last bar. Wish me luck. Some of the best gear in the entire game drops from this guy right now. And we definitely did not get it. Blue accessory, that's definitely on the lower side of the drops we're used to getting from Kazarka. Now, here is the Ancient Runes. So this is a, a party that up to five people can join. You can invite your friends from your guild. <clears throat> and the five of you can go in and fight a boss together. And uh, it offers some of, the, some of the best drops in the game as well. Really, really useful drops. You can get a lot of gold. Uh, right now, I'm about to run this and, and, and for 16 times the reward. So I'll get 16 times everything listed here and a good chance at some of... Well... The draw percentages on these are very low. Don't get too excited. Right now we have two bots. Two other friends of mine are going to come along with me. But this is a these are five person party dungeons available in game as well. So we'll check out how this looks. Use my black spirit skills, empowered skills, do a lot of damage but have good cool, fairly long cooldowns and get the damage going. And here we go, coming down to the last health bar on the boss. And now let's see what we get for drops. Ancient Warrior defeated. Oh, I like how they show the actual the actual opening of the 16 chests. 400 Chicago coins and, and two purple armor stones. Probably the best things I actually pulled from here. The rest is pretty underwhelming. Uh, purple light stone, that's pretty cool too. But five person so we have we have five person dungeons we have up to f like right now up to 46 person guild bosses to fight together we have a world boss instance that you that about 20 people load into and a world boss in nightmare mode called hex marie it spawns in nightmare mode and up to 100 people can fight this world boss in an open pvp area as well and this boss has the best drops in the entire game right now so it really really encourages people to participate in that we're in that uh, world boss content it's crazy when that boss spawns now here i am in witch's chapel which is going to be one of the higher level maps you can play in in, in southwest Ka uh calfian which is chapel the reason it's got this cool little symbol here is it it's a nightmare mode map so this is the entrance to nightmare mode nightmare entrance up to 100 adventurers can be in nightmare mode at any given time and it's open world PvP enabled at all times in here. So this is a really, really cool addition to the game. It was in a they released it in a patch not too long ago. When you come in here, this is also where the second world boss spawns. <clears throat> but I, I I come in, there's Lucifer. I can target him, and right away, no matter what, open world PvP is enabled. Well, my my clicks are a little off here. So I can start a fight. I do believe Lucifer is 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 quite a bit stronger than me, so this this fight won't be very easy. <clears throat> and I will say that the the combat combat power plays a huge part in this game. You do significantly less damage to people who are 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 much higher than you in combat. But I'm not going to sit here and keep. It actually will take me quite a bit to try to kill him. The really cool thing though is if I wanted to, I could call friends in to come in here with me, and and then we could run up on on him four or five of us and it'd be really easy to kill him but the drops in this open world pvp zone here's someone from infamous probably a little closer to my cp <laughs> target locked my screen rotation seems a little off or, or i'm not getting i was getting target locked on a monster and he was killing it that was the problem so here we go <clears throat> open world pvp He's, he's AFK farming, unfortunately, so he's not going to fight back. But a lot of the time, especially in Nightmare Mode, the people will come back or they'll come to their defense and we'll get some really cool uh, high-numbered PvP battles in this area. So this is one of the cool spots in the game as well. Just Nightmare Mode, people come here to farm because the drops are slightly better, but open world PvP is always on. And here someone comes. USA! USA! Love it. Love it. Another big thing that the game has, we've covered the 3v3 arena, the PvP arena, ancient runes. Now here's boss rushes. The boss rushes are really, really cool in this game. 
Basically, these are the bosses you encounter while progressing through the story mode. And they are really well animated, really interactive, fun boss fights. But you can, whenever you like, you can load in and fight these bosses on demand just by collecting boss stamps, exchanging them, exchanging them. They're going to randomly distribute among the available bosses and you accumulate basically ability to enter into these boss fights. First time clear rewards will continue to increase as you go along and you can see what rewards you'll get for actually beating the boss. Right now we'll get 60,000 silver, 22 Chicago coins, and we can load in here just to take a quick look at what the boss looks like. I like this fight because it actually doesn't have any uh, trash at the beginning they had to clear to. You skip directly to the boss fight. And these are good boss fights. They're, they're actually, they're great. <laughs> you, have, you have to learn the boss's skill animations. He just chunked me for a third of my health. Like this is a, this fight, I, this boss would kill me in two to three shots if I don't learn the moves and how to dodge them. We got what? Here we go. You kind of recognize the animations. This is a giant ground slam. Perfectly dodge it. Re that, that has to be perfectly timed or that pretty much would have one shot me for my health that I'm sitting at currently. But boss rushes. Here we go. We would sit here. There's the first of 20 health bars taken away. And these difficulties scale up immensely. And, and they can be as hard as you are, as hard as you want them. Now, one of my absolute favorite parts of the game is this little economy empire like economy that you can create and that you create and build up and it constantly works for you it's kind of like a it's almost like a clash of clans base but there's so much more to it we, you have in camp here you level up your town hall you build buildings refinery lodging guarding trading posts blacksmith all these buildings perform tasks for you you have a you have a ranch where you ra you raise animals that that that'll Give you drops that that get that replenishes your food you grow plants crops in a garden to get more food to use that food to perform tasks in your camp you have workers i currently have a max of 25 workers that i level up i increase the rarity of and i can send those workers off on tasks i currently have them sent out logging i believe here they are they're they're currently sent out on 16 hour missions to collect logs uh, most of them have leveled up so much that it only takes me eight hours to do those missions. I use those logs to level up the different buildings in my camp. And I won't go too crazy into depth, but this camp produces you silver. It produces you crystals, which increases your combat power from the alchemy lab, from the trading post where you can put your workers in and actually have them constantly doing more specific tasks occupying nodes which farm you silver and in those nodes they can do very specific tasks that it tells you exactly what you expect to get i'm getting uh ap power skill books from this node we're getting supply run ancient tablets which lets me do the ancient runes run here's a th th these workers are farming me boss stamps which lets me let me do the boss rushes that i showed you really really cool content that it basically building up this absolute empire of workers that'll constantly be working for you and acquiring your free stuff. One of the coolest things about mobile games is they, they're really starting to stream. They're, they really emphasize the ability for you to turn the game off and still be acquiring things. And there's so much value in that to me. There you go. That's everything I could have grabbed in the note. It's the ability to actually... The ability, the ability to actually acquire things when not playing the game, as well as playing it. These are passively always working for you as long as you check up on them every couple hours. Really, really cool part of the game, and I love it. I spend more time in my camp than anywhere else. It's actually hilarious. Making sure my workers are happy. They're out. They're always on task. They're upgrading buildings. They're gathering. They're getting me resources. Here's the costumes I was talking about. Craft outfit. Armor outfit chest. Obtain an armor outfit for your class upon use. All you got to do is send your workers out, gather up these resources, spend 2.6 mil, 5,000 food, and it'll make you an armor chest in five days. Here's the weapon chests. Easy, easy. Get in here. Get these premium items that people are spending hard, real, real money on. You can get them for free, no problem. It's going to take you a bit, but that's the definition of monetization of a mobile game. Pay to get it now. Play to get it a little bit later. That's the concept. It's the games that don't realize that, that I'm, I walk away from. Yes, let me pay to get it now. I, you need to make money to be able to make my game awesome that I want to play. 
yes, let me pay to get it now. That's that's fine. I'll put I, I don't mind putting a little bit of money out, but let the people who can't put the money out play to get it later and this game absolutely does that that's why i really really enjoying investing my time into it so far I, I, it's just i don't i don't get that sick to my stomach feeling about the monetization oh man i'm falling so much behind because i'm not putting out the money the other guy is no oh i'll catch up he's not getting that far ahead no problem farm you know that's that's what the concept's been so far really really fantastic job so far with this game we've covered pretty much everything at this point i believe we have a black spirit which is kind of like uh, it starts off at it looking like this nice cute little happy guy the black spirit that's him right here and as you progress through the story mode he evolves and tears up into this crazy evil looking dude here you collect spare armor throughout the game you can feed him he levels up as he gets stronger he gives you passive stats that make you stronger you're, there's a there's a fairly uh, fairly advanced in armor enhancement system different types of armor so you have to learn about them and figure out what's best in slot you can enhance them with crystals there's accessories that you enhance everything kind of uh, incorporates into your combat power oh and actually here's a good look at what makes your combat power too so we have knowledge in the game things you have to actually go out walk and go around the world to collect so my knowledge completion is not totally up to date because they've released some new ones unattained i need to go it, it, it'll show me that i need to go to cron castle entrance and find this node that's going to give me some stats two max hp so you got to go through the game complete your knowledge your boss knowledge will continue to infinitely increase as as you continue to beat these bosses more and more and more as well there's lots of stats available from constantly beating the bosses. And uh, world map, ranking system, market, you can buy and sell things, friends, knowledge, the pet system's neat. Like I said, you can buy the pets on the market for 2 million silver each, or they cost approximately $10. You have to level them up, start at tier one. You can combine them to get to tier two, three, and eventually four. The pets will passively pick you items up as you're actually AFK farming in game. I kill these monsters, eventually they'll drop a chest, and my pets can pick those chests up for me. Aside from that, honestly, a mobile game that has 50 v 50 v 50 guild war content. I It's incredible that you can spawn in cannons elephants i'm going to give you a quick clip of uh, a quick highlight clip of node wars to really give you a taste of what some of my favorite content the game has to offer right now honestly a mobile morpg that you can play on your cell phone at any time that has graphics that rival any game i've played on pc or console right now it's got mounts you can ride horses look over cliffs and at beautiful views like this and everything else we've went over They've really, really bridged that gap of having live PvP that, that you really benefits you actually playing the game, not being pay to win. And and they actually one of the one other really cool part is is you can talk to the devs in Discord. They have an official Discord and you can honestly give feedback, report bugs, and get direct feedback from people behind the development of the game. And that's really that really feels awesome and bridges a gap that there is on a lot of the current mobile MMOs where you really don't feel like the developers care that much. A lot of them are ports from uh, versions of the game and even this is. This game was developed and released in Korea first and it was ported and translated into English. Well, the translations were done by professionals very well. I do not come across many translation errors some very very minor grammatical errors but not even spelling errors and it, it's it's really just awkwardly phrased things and I, I can't even think of one so you know it's not true and just constant feedback updates have been coming really fast and just the it feels really cool to actually get direct feedback from employees of the company making the game and that's that you've that's accessible on discord and that really just is another level of depth into this game that i've enjoyed so far I really, really suggest you to check it out. It's, it's. I've been enjoying it so much over the past couple weeks, and this. I, I really hope this game has a long and bright future because right now it's awesome, and it's only, only gonna go up from here. So I, I hope you definitely have considered checking out Black Desert Mobile. Thanks for checking out this video. 
hope I did a good enough job showing off the key points of it. Uh, as always, uh, come and catch me live at twitch.tv slash maskscarin. I try to stream live. I have an official schedule posted on my Discord, which is discord.gg slash maskscarin. I should have, or slash mask TV, but I have it right here. Discord.gg slash mass TV. You can I'm always on Discord. Always. You can you can message me, ask questions. I, if I'm not live on Twitch and my, I post when I go live on Discord, my official schedule will be up there as well as my other socials. You can find them below the video. I think I've rambled on enough for today. Thanks again so much for watching this video. Until next time, smash that subscribe button and stay classy.